Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with me, Frank Knowledge Munoz. Here I'm going to show you how I did this puzzle looking effect in Photoshop. Uh, very simple, very easy to do, but um, I know a few people were asking about it, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a tutorial on how I go about doing it. So what we're going to need first and foremost is you're going to need your image. And the other thing we're going to need is a template of puzzle pieces. You can either go online and find one that's free or you have to create your own. Whatever way you choose to do is up to you. So I already have a pre-made puzzle piece template and I already have the image we're going to be using for this tutorial. So I'm going to drag my image over to my template, position it where I want, and I'm going to make sure we keep our composition in order. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our image layer and bring it below our template. And make sure to label things so you know what is what. And keep everything in order. So that's our puzzle template. And that's our background image. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to double click on our puzzle template and we're going to give it a bevel and emboss effect. Now what this does is it gives you this nice looking smoothed out edge that emulates puzzle pieces and the reflections. So the settings that we have for our bevel and emboss are inner bevel, our technique is smooth, keep the depth at 100%, I choose direction up that's what direction down does. All it does is just reverse it to the other side. Uh, this is a choice that is primarily up to you. So we'll leave it at up. I leave my size to 4. If I were to increase the size, we get that effect. And that's not what we want. So I leave mine at 4. Angle is pretty much where you want them to be. Uh, pretty much where your light source is coming from. So if you see we move in our angle you can see them moving around but I like how it looks at 30 so we're gonna leave it like that and it's a little too bright it looks a little fake the white being so bright so we're just gonna bring it down a little bit I say about 50 I'll do fine alright now on to extracting the puzzle pieces so what you're gonna wanna do is select your magic wand tool and make sure you have your puzzle template selected and click inside whatever piece you want and once you do that you are going to click on your background image or your image layer and we're gonna go edit cut edit paste grab our selection tool but now you can see that our piece is below the template. So all you got to do is drag your piece above the puzzle template. Now, you see we have no background. So what we're going to want to do is create one. So create a new layer. Make sure you have white selected. Grab your paint bucket tool and give it a fill of white. And then take that layer and bring it below your background image. So now that we have a, a nice white background, so now back to our puzzle piece. Let's just name it piece one. Okay. We are going to select this effect and put it onto this piece. So the simple way to do it is just on this layer, right click it, go to copy layer style, left click, right click on your puzzle piece, I'm sorry, paste layer style. So there we go. So now we got the nice smooth effect going on to our piece. So now we're going to want to give it a bit of a drop shadow. So we're going to double click on effects, select drop shadow. I like to bring my opacity up to 100. Bring the distance maybe to 5. And leave everything else as is. So 
So our piece doesn't look so uniform to this. What we can do is just rotate it a bit like that and just place it wherever you want on the board. Leave it up there. So let's do it again. Select our puzzle template. Select our wand. And we'll go with, uh, we'll pick this one. Make sure your image is selected. Go to edit cut. Edit paste. Bring that layer above the puzzle template. label it and then do the same thing except we're going to choose this one copy its layer style and paste it onto that perfect so now everything's done so now you got to do is just grab that piece and move it about and there you go and that's how easy it is to do the puzzle looking effect so I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, this is just how I do it. I'm pretty sure this is how everyone else would be doing it. So um, take care.